deep in the ocean, deep underwater. Imagine taking a trip to the deepest part of the ocean. What kinds of things will you expect to see? Will it be dark or light? Will the water be clear or cloudy? Will it be warm or cold? Will you find strange new animals and plants? Sunlight warms the surface or shallow parts of the ocean down about two hundred meters. Plants and animals that need sunlight and warm water live there, such as dolphins and sharks. Live in the ocean. Other animals, including squid and vipperfish, live in the water that is cold and dark. Diving deep in the ocean, the deep ocean below one thousand meters is freezing cold. The weight of water or water pressure below thirty nine point six meters can harm you. Sports divers wear air tanks filled with a mixture of glasses for safety. Deep divers wear a special hard. Diving suit to protect them from the water pressure. For really deep dives, group of two or three scientists ride in a small sub submarine called a submersible. Oceanographers, scientists who study the ocean are called oceanographers. They often live or months on a ship and work seven days a week. Some study what a sea animal is and where it lives. Others study the ocean water itself. All of them have no understand biology and chemistry. Biology is the study of thing living things. Chemistry is the study of what things are made of. Using satellites for tracking, satellites can help to track the animals' travels. Scientists tag some animals with electronic sensors. A satellite can track the signal from the tag on the animal's fin or back. Traffic tracking the signal shows where the animal goes. Counting the sea animals. What types of animals live in the ocean? Where do they live? How many are there? Ocean oceanographers studied and counted animals for ten years to learn the answers. They looked at all the world's oceans from the North Pole to the South Pole. The surprising report is called the census. Of marine life, released in 2010, is counted contains information from more than 540 different groups of researchers. Research. The census of marine life. The first prize was where things lived. Everywhere in all water levels. And the temperatures, marine species lived in the hottest and the coldest places in the ocean. Some species live in deep places without light or oxygen. Another surprise was how many new species were discovered. More than twelve hundred new marine species had been described. Living in hot and cold water. The very cold, deep ocean zone has hot volcanoes in it. The water temperature of volcano can be 400 Celsius. Celsius, 400 Celsius, which is not enough to melt lead. Some species or shrimp, crabs, worms, and bacteria. Lived in this very hot water, these animals use sulfur to live rather than sunlight. 
Huge groups of Arctic sea life were also found living in freezing water. Some species of liquid cod and jellyfish lived under solid ice and is 700 meters thick. Many of these species slow down their movements to save energy so they don't freeze. What did we learn? Scientists learned what life is even more adapt adaptable than they had original originally thought. Animals living in the deep ocean had found ways to survive in a harsh environment. Environment. These environments are places where it would be impossible for most other species to survive. The marine census counted more than 200 third to to a hundred thirty thousand pieces, more than six thousand new species had ever seen be seen before. Some creatures were see through. Some had warning lights that turned on and off. Others had long feelers instead of eyes. Some had teeth so long that they overlapped their lost jaws. Some made their own antifreeze to stay warm. What else live in the deep ocean? Scientists keep finding new species and new facts. The, mo the more they look, the more they find. They think that only one-fourth of all ma marine life has been counted. Only some of those species have been have even been described yet. There are many more surprises to come.